we are headed to the Barstool Sports Awards. Dave, it's good to see you have your fucking nuts back after being neutered with Penn these last few years. Dave just got his company back full 100%. KFC tweet. I was like, dog, I saw that same tweet. I'm thinking like everybody involved with Barstool is going to be out there. Every personality, every show. What's going to happen? Like, what, 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 is the, what is such a big deal about tonight? But why does it sound like low-key they're going to be like, lock the doors? The entire squad. So it'll be fun to have everybody in, uh, in one room. We'll see how it checks out. So the, the issue right here, we're at 8th and Roast. I go to 8th and Roast off Charlotte every day of my life. And I get a, an ice Americano 12 ounce. And it's usually dark, it's usually higher quality. I got mine, it's very, very light, light. I'm talking yellow, light brown. There's this analogy of you always gotta go back up and get your fries and then forget your fries. Mitch, how, how often you see me with 8th and Roast in my every hand? Every single day. So do you think my I, I don't have much experience in the 8th and Roast I, Americano, I iced think, Americano? I think you would know what you're talking about. The owner, and I know I know the owner at the one off Charlotte. I don't know if he owns all of them, but I would assume he does. I'm going to have to send him a photo and just say, hey, just FYI, these are the iced Americanos you guys are selling in the BNA airport. And it ain't the good word that's being spread off of 8th Avenue and off of Charlotte. Shot number two. How you doing, brother? Could I get an iced Americano? Yeah. Now we'll see. We'll see the side by side. Did you notice how fast she was getting me my iced Americano? Press a button on the machine. Oh. Not the eighth and not the eighth and roast I know. Thank you very much. Look at that. Stir it up a little bit. That's a fucking iced Americano. But as you guys are here, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. We are headed to Boston to Barstool Sports Awards. It's their 20th anniversary. Dave just got his company back, acquired full 100%. It's the first time Barstool has been in full 100% control since what? Before the churning deal, everybody involved with Barstool is gonna be out there. Everybody, every personality, every show, the entire squad. So it'll be fun to have everybody in, uh, in one room. We'll see how it shakes out. So like travel's been fucking hell. I basically like I flew from LA to Calgary after we did all that stuff with the Chargers, the Raiders, Bad Friends, the Fighter and the Kid. We're like living out of one suitcase. Like paid down to see these shorts. Is it familiar? It's because I haven't washed these shorts and I've worn these like seven days in a row. That's literally what I'm doing. I bought this shirt yesterday. Then I have to like fly here to Boston. It's like there's got there's nothing that'll possibly get me here on time on this specific day. I had to fly in a day early. Fuck, I did that 24 hour fast. I was fucking dying at the end. And I'm getting some seafood, two cups of clam chowder, lobster tail, got myself some calamari, got a shrimp cocktail. It was a fucking, went home, beat it, went to sleep, dude. It was a fucking night. It was an absolute night. Overall, 4.5. Is this the right room? Well, did you say 19? Yep. You did, sorry. Good boy. How's my special boy doing, dude? Beautiful room. We have the same one. How we living? Come on in. Thanks, brother. Hey, Sorry, I ain't like soft. Have a seat, man. Take a seat. I'm, I'm interested to see how tonight's gonna shape up. Cause you know, it seems like it's a pretty big deal. Like they're putting a lot into it, and it's like this big award show, like a banquet, bringing everybody together, doing awards over the last two decades. Mitch was like, dude, I am too. He's like, man, I saw that. Uh, KFC tweet. I was like, dog, I saw that same tweet. I'm thinking like, what's going to happen? Like, what, what, what is the, what is such a big deal about tonight? I'm excited too. But why does it sound like low key they're going to be like, lock the doors? Like, you can only imagine, I'm sure Dave's going to be chirping. Like, people are probably going to be chirping. I feel confident in the abilities of, uh, of you and I when it comes to, for sure, figuring it all out. Shit will hit the fan. It'll be fucking one of those dicey situations. How do they do the, how do the boys get themselves out of this one? Yeah. That's what they're gonna be asking themselves in this walk. Are you doing an award? I'm presenting the, uh, with Biz, the worst display of athleticism. I am doing... And I just knew that from Biz. He's just like, hey, I hear, I see we're presenting an award together. We're presenting the seventh award, best athletic achievement. I don't know, if we're talking about just best athletic achievement, well, you and I should win. <laughs> we should, see, we're the I'm, only I'm, people that should win. I'm thinking if there's like a clip out there displaying something. I, like if they're going like, 
who the best athletes in the house are. No, because I heard it's like uh, the, celebrating the last 20 years. So this might be an award show for the last 20 years. For all the most athletic achievements in the last 20 years, like you and I are the literal, yeah, like, like Biz ain't gonna, Biz not gonna win anything, Biz is a bruiser. Win right, was solid. Right, 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 right was good. Win's a solid. Win was like, like a good, I mean Biz was too bad. That would be the three people as you, me, and Win. And no disrespect. Yeah, no disrespect to the boys out there. No, like, God, we no. Never we never want to disrespect our heroes. Bro, I was checking in yesterday, they go Good Legal Seafoods. It's a, you know, it's a chain, but it's really good. This is legit, like, a really nice one. Yeah, I was going to say I'm a big bisque fan, bro. I like bisque, but... This is nice. I am a, I like a nice white, thick, white soup. Yeah, thick, white, creamy. Mm. When I was at Michigan, like, the, you know the graduate we stayed at in Ann Arbor? That used to be called, like, a different hotel. And they had clam chowder that was only made for the players. And the only way you can get it is if you're a player from Michigan. They would come in those like big pitchers of fucking clam chowder and you like pour it or whatever. And because of that, like clam chowder is by far my favorite. But there's but there's like a level behind it, like, a story behind it. I appreciate the uh, the weight of the meat. Usually when you get lobster rolls, you get a lot that are really stuffy with the bread, not a lot of lobster meat. Yeah. This thing is awesome. Apparently, there's a new variant of COVID that's gonna it's supposed to come out in September. This is all the conspiracy theorists. And we're supposed to all have to wear masks starting September. And like by October, anyone who flies has to wear a mask. And Alex Jones is saying this. Because it's coming from somebody on the inside of like the yeah, airlines, yeah, yeah. right? Inside the airlines, inside the government, not yeah. just the airlines. I'm almost inclined to say that if, if September comes out, September, October, and they're like, everyone's gonna wear a mask because there's a new variant of COVID. I got no choice but to low-key think Alex Jones might have a, a rat on the inside. Like you've been fucking actually like licking. Hit it a little you bit, yeah. You got some fucking that forearm meat and the bicep. Working meat on protein? Yeah, you look yeah, good. Yeah, not as good as you, but I'm no, working on it, man. Just trying to get like you, dude. Fantastic. <laughs> fucking old lady with the boys like, oh, dude, you, you, you got no problem. <laughs> Right now, it has me feeling like I'm going to prom or something. You look so hot. Thanks, man. That fires me up. Can we have a hug? Because you look good too. I love Thanks, you. Thanks, man. I mean, I don't really got like fucking. Yeah, but you look cool. Thanks. You know brother. what I'm saying? But fuck. It's like I'm dressed for the banquet. You're dressed to be fucking. You got a fucking. You just look sick. Like, I feel like low key, suits has been paying off for you. <laughs> you're really good. You're really good at giving compliments. You're really good at giving compliments. Mitch, you look phenomenal. What a bulge you got going on Mitch, there. Mitch, you got. Today. Your bulge matches your head. And that's something to be proud of. Tell you what. <laughs> what are you fucking poking that at that? That ass is coming out a little bit. Bro, you, was, you fucking poking at over there, huh? You got some ass back there? Kid? I mean, you know, you can take a fucking peek. You know, I've been doing RDLs like crazy. Look at that tight jeans, Donnie. Huh? You got that mom them jeans. Fucking, on, what are we dude? doing, bro? Come on, get that thing up for you. I've been working. You saw that thing a couple months ago. The hip thrust? Fucked off. The fucking hip hinges where you fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like John Travolta and that fucking. You seen that little clip? I don't know what movie that is. I'm gonna get. Oh, I know what I'm gonna get, sir. Can I get a, uh, a tall glass of water? Can you put some limes in that, please? It'd be fantastic. Make that too. Extra stiff. Oh, right, I thought you might want to jump up yeah, there. Yeah, let's get that. fucked up. Two waters, please. We gotta do like a, like a four way here. You guys are gonna little scissor kicks. We have to do it. We're having a time out there. Yeah, we'll do You weren't there. Are you going to the Beer Olympics? We were working. Yeah, well, that yeah, looks like a fucking Yeah, you guys gotta fuck hey, 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 are you gonna do it there every year? Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, we can host that out west in like the places that I'd like to do it. You know what I wanna do? I got a pickleball court. I'm gonna do like a pickleball tournament and shit. What about Alice? It'd be fun to like, it'd be fun to do like a home and home or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Compton, most disgusting display of athleticism. What a fucking asshole that guy is, eh? Dave, it's good to see you have your fucking nuts back after being neutered with pen these last few years. Oh. Lindsay, it's good to have you back, brother. 
<laughs> um, on a serious note, though, on uh, Chicklet's side, uh, we don't get over the New York offices very often. Obviously, congrats to Dave on getting the company back. It's where it belongs. On a positive note, uh, no, for real, being with Barstool these few years out of your guys' 20, uh, it's really cool to see an organization when everybody pushes and rows the boat in the same direction. You can disrupt any industry at any given time against any fucking competition. And it's really cool to be a, uh, a small part in that. But now to get to the award, as a couple washed up guys who've had some disgusting displays of, ath of athleticism, we will now present the most disgusting display of ath athleticism in Barcelona history. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you get your education? <laughs> Nebraska. Thanks, Nebraska. And the winner of most disgusting display of athleticism is Rear Admiral. Yeah. All right, best athletic achievement. Uh, and I just want to say it's beautiful. Everybody coming up here saying how amazing it's been. Literally the minute uh, I was like an employee of uh, Barstool Sports, we were, uh, Penn was bought, like Penn bought us like immediately. So I have no idea how Barstool even runs without Penn, but I'm, ex I'm excited to find out. Everyone seems very excited. Best athletic achievement. There's literally like four people in this room that are probably deserving of that. I'm standing up here, Will Compton, uh, Biz, maybe, and definitely Ryan Whitney, but we'll see what it is. But these are the uh, the nominees. What's that? Pat Bash, Pat Bash, Pat Bash, Pat Relax, bro. And your winner, Donnie. <laughs> I think we pulled it off, it wasn't planned really well. Thank you to everybody up there, thank you everyone who works here. It really has been, I'm sure these guys will have to say a couple things, a wild, wild, unpredictable, crazy ride that nobody can predict. And it's hard to believe we're starting it up again, which is the craziest part, but uh, thank you to everybody. And the sponsors, Dude Wipes and Body Armor. Shout out the sales team, we couldn't sell dick with our entire fucking company here, and we sold 10 cents worth of ads. So, the more things change, the more they stay the same. It really is incredible what the three of us have been through and everyone in this room, and the loyalty is what always shines through. And, and you know, when the chips are down, we always have each other's back. And I think that's the testament to what this company's been able to do. And uh, can I see this, Dave? I kind of want to give this to Frank the Tank. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone that will not shut us up! Everyone that will not get in our way! Everyone! Thank you! Oh, it's time for Frank. Oh, what do you know, pizza? Very, like, fourth, like, not well cut. Not well cut. Like a punk rocker, I still live my room. Number two already. Cut the camera. Oh, you're a real one. Slice number one. Number three. Number three. Where are we going, Taylor? Well, nobody knows. I have fucking no idea, amigo. I have no idea. Hey, you're with us. Let's go. All right. Fine. Glad you guys are here. We gotta get you guys. We got Zins. I do. What I do. Mean? What flavor? Six citrus. Done. Are you? Is that all right? Made it 48 hours. Was in a bad mood earlier. Finally happening. It's finally happening. All right, it is 8:32 in the morning. About to head to the airport. Great night at the Barstool Awards. Great fucking night. Everybody's everybody's mingling in the fucking on the floor. We moved to Loco. All time. Just a great night. 
get a little banged up with the boys. Watch Frank the Tank potentially earn himself a spot in a movie someday. Just one of the most inspirational figures in, in all of America, and I'm proud to know I'm proud to know him. Now we get back to Nashville. Mitch has got work to do today. Appreciate you guys for following along with Big Cugs, Tiny Kisses. I was just sitting out there, then Mitch pulled up because I've been waiting. I tried FaceTiming him, he doesn't answer. Called you immediately back. He didn't answer. So we were going, when we went to uh, Boston, before the flight out, stop at Ethan Rose like we always do, we usually get like an iced coffee. This time I got an iced Americano because I've been getting iced Americanos recently. Iced Americano they gave me looked like iced tea. We grab it, we start to walk off, and I go, I taste it, I was like, man, this thing tastes like shit. And I go, you know what, I'm getting it, I'm going back and getting it. So sure enough, go into Favorite spot in Nashville, favorite spot in the city, and that's what a fucking iced Americano should look like. I've been waiting. The only reason you don't hear the ice swishing around is because I was waiting for Mitch to pull up here so we could get going. Then he needed to take a morning too, and I spent about an hour out of my truck. So yeah, shout out Ethan Rose Coffee. I don't want to tarnish the brand. I just want to hold the standard because you guys are the best.